who would you like to see on the Iron Throne? <laughs> Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah. And why is that? I think, uh, personally, look, I don't really tell my theories about things, but I, 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 think, I think it could be... It's not exactly going to be Tyrion, but I think it could be Tyrion. I think he's... It almost all started with Tyrion. Like, he's, he's the... He's not the obvious choice. The obvious choice is Daenerys, possibly Jon Snow. But Tyrion has always, you know, always been... I almost view the world through Tyrion. Like, he seems to be separate from it. He seems to see it for what it is. If he, he seems to almost see, the, see it that it, was, that it was, is a fantasy. Like, he's, he's the person that seems most grounded, most real. He's also got the nous for it. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just like him. I've always liked him as a character and, and, from, and, and the way Peter portrays him so brilliantly. Um, yeah, I just, I, in some ways, I think it... This, and also there's something wonderful about the image for me of a dwarf climbing onto the throne. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's a kind of wonderful image for me. Game of Thrones is being used as a metaphor for everything. People read all sorts of things into what's happening, from climate change to immigration. Um, <laughs> my, my, my question for you is, well, what do you think it all means? Uh, what should be the takeaway? What's the theme here? What's the takeaway from what Game of Thrones is trying to get across to, um, to viewers? I've always thought that, that Game of Thrones' theme or moral, if you, as it were, should be that those who seek out power are least deserving of it. And we see that in Thrones all the time. We have all the people who have been, um, who've been so Machiavellian as to kill their enemies and seek out power. The worst people to be on that throne. I think that's always been the, the, the real moral of it. As to what it's about, I think it's kind of about dysfunctional families. <laughs> um, really, deep down. Um, I don't know. I, I, I do think there is a lesson in it somewhere about climate change. <laughs> really, I do. I mean, I mean, the scariest thing for me this year was going to Iceland uh, four years after we were last there. And we went for the snow, and there was no snow. Oh. And we got lucky in that we that it came a day later. But we, we lost a day because there was no snow. And the same glacier I went to hmm. four years ago, I came over a hill to see the same glacier that me and Rose had filmed on four years ago, and it was about 100 metres back, the same time of year. And if you have any doubt about climate change, you go to Iceland, four years apart, and you'll see exactly what's going on, and you'll see it with your own eyes, and it is terrifying.